Good morning and welcome to our assembly. It's Wednesday morning and Monday's assembly was the one I posted a little while ago when we thought we were going to reopen a couple of weeks earlier. So have a good look at Monday's assembly again if you've got any questions about reopening and coming back into school. Um, so that was kind of more for information really. Today's assembly and Friday's assembly are about how we can be proud about who we are, about how we are all individual and we're all different and we're all special and how it's good to be different and individual and special. Now there's a word for that where everybody is completely different. You might look a little bit like someone else. You, uh, somebody in your family might say, oh, you look just like your dad or you look just like your mum or your brother or whoever. Okay, but we're all individual. Now tell me, what's that word that means that we are completely individual, not the same as anybody else? That's right, the word is unique. We are all unique. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, do a little bit of an activity with you. Okay, so talking about good to be me um, and about feeling good about who we are. So what I want you to do is I want you to have a think about, let's go back to that one, the other people who are around you, okay? Now, all the people who are around you, it might be mums and dads, brothers and sisters, you might have an aunt or a grandparent living with you or a cousin or whoever, and think about your friends as well. So think about all of your friends and all of your family. So tell me, you can sh or you can shout out, see if you can make me hear from where you are, or you can tell the people that you're watching. Do you know somebody with brown hair? Shout out their name. Okay, do you know somebody with freckles? Who's that person? Do you know somebody with glasses? And you can say me if you like. Do you know somebody with curly hair? Do you know somebody who has lost a tooth in the last couple of weeks? That's a bit more tricky. You might have to think if anybody's told you that on the Google Meet. Do you know anybody who's got a birthday in June in this month? Do you know anybody who identifies as a boy? Is a boy. Do you know anybody with a different coloured skin to you? So there's lots of different ways that we can all be different, we can all be unique. Okay, and each one of us is a very, very special person. You are very, very special because of all of the things that make you who you are. You're amazing. And you could travel all over the world and you'd never find someone who is exactly the same as you. It's amazing, it's mind blowing. And from the time human beings first walked on the earth all the way through history, there's never been anybody else created who is exactly the same as you and there never will be. There's only one of you. And that makes you wonderful and very, very special. Absolutely every single one of you. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at a bit of a story today. Okay. And the story is about Mouse, who's forgotten that she's got her own special gift. OK, so what I want you to do is I want you to join in with the story. When Mouse says, I'm no good, I'm only a mouse, you have to shout out, believe in yourself, believe in yourself. OK, so let's practice that. So when I say I'm no good or Mouse says, I'm no good, I'm only a mouse, you say, believe in yourself, believe in yourself. Let's try again. I'm no good. I'm only a mouse. Believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. Right. Here we go. Now, mouse was feeling sad. There you go. You can see mouse crying. She was the smallest and weakest animal in the forest. I don't want to be a mouse, she said. I wish I didn't have this little body and short legs and thin tail. So mouse went to see Lion. Mouse knew Lion was a great leader. He was king of the forest. When he roared, everyone did just what he said. Mouse wished that she could be a great leader too. And she looked up and said, looked at him and said, I'd like to be a leader like you, Lion. But Lion just laughed. I'm strong. But you are too small and weak. Mouse hung her head and walked sadly away. And after a while, she met Gazelle. There we go, we've got Lion. 
we've got Gazelle. And Gazelle could run faster than the wind. Mouse gazed up at her and said, I'd like to be able to run like you. Gazelle laughed a soft and gentle laugh. Oh, poor little mouse, she said. I can run fast because of my long legs and look at your little legs. Mouse felt sadder than ever. Her shoulders sagged and her eyes turned down. I'm no good, she said. I'm only a mouse. Believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. But Mouse was sad. She walked on through the forest until she met Monkey. Monkey was swinging through the trees. He used his tail to dangle down in front of Mouse. I'd like to be able to climb like you, Monkey, said Mouse. Monkey cackled. I can climb because of my elegant tail, he said. Look at your skinny little tail. Why, it doesn't even curl. A monkey swung back into the tree and away through the forest. Mouse's heart sank even more. A tear formed in the corner of her eye. I'm no good, she said. I'm only a mouse. Believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. But Mouse was too unhappy to hear anything. To her, it seemed that all the other animals in the forest were special in their own way and she was just a silly, unimportant little mouse. She wandered on through the forest until she found a small hole and hid inside it. She felt so bad that tears fell from her eyes. And all of a sudden, Mouse heard a terrible noise. It was such a loud, scary noise, it made her heart beat loud in her little chest. It sounded to Mouse as though all the animals in the forest were calling out at once, as though they were all calling for help. She could hear Lion roaring and Gazelle crying and Monkey shrieking. What can I do, she thought. I'm only a little mouse. How can I help all these great animals? So she, so she stuck her nose out of the hole. She was very frightened, but she knew she had to find out what was wrong. As she scurried through the forest, the terrible noise got louder and louder. Suddenly, she came to a clearing. All the animals were trapped inside cruel cages. Hunters had come to the forest and had caught them. Help us, help us, cried the animals desperately. Please help us, Mouse. But Mouse said sadly, I'm only a little mouse. I can't lead like you, Lion, or run like you, Gazelle, or climb like you, Monkey. I'm sorry, I'm not good enough to help you. Mouse turned and walked away. The animals called after her. Help us, Mouse, help us! Mouse felt so miserable. She wished there was something she could do to help them, but all she could say to herself was, I'm no good. I'm only a mouse. Believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. Mouse stopped. What was that? In her heart, she thought she heard faint voices helping her to remember she had her own special gift. As she stood there listening, a wonderful thought struck her. She remembered the cages were tied with string. Go back, Mouse, she said to herself. Go back. You've got fantastically sharp teeth that are good for chewing. Mouse turned around and ran back to the cages. In her little mouth, she took the string that tied each cage and chewed and chewed until at last the doors fell open. The animals were free. Lion picked up Mouse gently in his strong jaws and lifted her onto Gazelle's back. The animals ran and ran until they were far away from the cages and when they felt that they were safe, they stopped. Gazelle lay down and Lion carefully lifted Mouse from her back and placed her on the ground. First Gazelle and then Monkey um, came to Mouse and thanked her for rescuing them. Lion was last. You're a hero, Mouse, he said. You saved us from the hunters. What can we do to thank you? Mouse thought for a moment. Then she said, you've already given me everything I could ever want. You've shown me that it's good to be me. So there you go, guys. It's good to be you. If you think about the things that are special about you, if you think about your achievements, it makes you feel good. It increases your confidence, enhances your self-esteem, helps you focus on the positives. So you could think about the cake that you made the other day, or you could think about how you did a really good piece of online learning for your teacher, or you could think about how you really helped dad in the garden, or you could think about how you really helped mum wash the car. All of these things are your achievements something that you've done for the first time. It might be that you manage level two of one of the Multiflex daily challenges and you've only ever managed to do level one before. That's an amazing achievement. It's good to be you. And just because somebody else does something different to you, 
it doesn't matter. It's only about you. You are the important person. And this is called a mental image of yourself. And you can build up that mental image because you can say to yourself, wow, I've done something really cool today. So when you think, when you go to bed tonight, think of a good thing that you did today and smile about it. So just to go over uh, those important points, you are really, really important. You are really, really special. And you should be proud of the fact that you are different. At Wincham, we really, really believe in the Equality Act. So we know it doesn't matter whether you're white or whether you're black or whatever colour your skin is. It doesn't matter whether you identify as a boy or a girl or, you or you're transgender. It doesn't matter whether you're gay or lesbian or bisexual. It doesn't matter whether you're uh, disabled or you've got different abilities. You are really, really important. You are really, really special. And because of that, I think every single one of you watching this is absolutely amazing. So your job to do today, you are going to go and be amazing. And I would like you to post a comment. I'd like your parents to post a comment on the Facebook page today to say something that you've done that you think is an achievement for you. It could be that you've built the best Lego tower. It could be that you have, like I said, helped you know, with the garden or helped the car. It could be a picture of you holding a piece of home learning that you've done that you think is really, really cool. So do something that's amazing and be really proud of yourself because that's all down to you being quite cool. Well done, guys. Right, see you Friday. Bye-bye.